Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. things a little bit differently. I feel like these vlogs have been getting repetitive. I know it's only been like four days but I'm watching them and editing them and I feel like because of my current schedule they get a little bit repetitive. So today we're gonna switch things up a little bit. I'm not gonna bring you guys along for my entire day basically because I'm staying at home and I'm not doing much. But today I want to reorganize my bookshelves so I just thought that it would be fun to show you guys my entire reorganizing process. So let me show you the situation so you can know what we're starting with. So I have two shelves. Basically I have this bookcase here and it's kind of hard for me to show it to you in its entirety because um, my bed as you can see is right here but this is the current situation it is a bit messy like especially this shelf is this is my tbr shelf and it's really like overwhelming and overall i'm just like i feel like it's a bit messy and it could definitely be improved and i also have another shelf well it's not a bookcase like this one but i have these two shelves like that are in my little uh, working nook 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 i don't know <laughs> but in my little working space and as you can see i have some books there but i feel like i'm underutilizing this area and it's filled with like a lot of not necessarily like bookish stuff and this shelf space could definitely be like reorganized so that can so that i can um include more books so you can tell like i have a bunch of dif dictionaries here that i would like to get rid of at least on this shelf i have a bunch of stuff here that definitely don't, doesn't need to be here and overall it's just a big old mess so what we're gonna start with right now is I'm just gonna get all of my books off my shelf like everything the only shelf that I'm not gonna touch today is my Harry Potter shelf it's not really full but I really love the way that it looks right now so we're gonna keep it as is but as for the other shelves, they have to be reorganized and since I have the entire day off I just thought that today was the best day to do this so, um, first off, we're gonna just remove all of the books and place them all over my room. So this is about to become a real mess. But then we're gonna try to organize this as efficiently as possible. I already have like a little idea of what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be a lot of trial and error, I guess. So, let's do this! <laughs> aftermath of removing all of the books from this shelf as you can see it's really not organized it's a big old mess but we're gonna organize this as we replace them on the shelves right now I think I'm gonna attack these shelves um, like I said um, I will be getting rid of these and like probably placing this stuff elsewhere and just like cleaning like clearing this space because it could look cute and I feel like it's a bit larger than my bookcase so I could place more books here so like I might place my fantasy because I know I have a lot here but I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do with this I, I have a pretty good idea but I'll show you guys after it's done so now let's move on to shelf number two <laughs> So now we have all of my books, everything. <laughs> so my bookshelves are both empty 
except for the Harry Potter shelf, which I've mentioned earlier. Um, and now I think I'm just gonna like do a little bit of dusting, like just getting like cleaning these up before I put the books back on, because <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. So we're gonna do this first, and then um, we're gonna try to organize these. All right, so I did my dusting. So like now the shelves are ready to receive some books. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is. On these shelves, since they are larger, I'm thinking of like putting my TBR shelf, like all my my books that I've yet to read on this um, first shelf here. I just feel like this is where, or maybe the second one, like one of those two. Because so far, um, this is the reason why I decided to reorganize my old shelves. It's just that my TBR shelf was overflowing, as you saw, so I like it felt really overwhelming. So I just thought that. Like, I needed a little reorganization and, like, get rid of some books at the same time. So what I'm thinking is, like I said, putting my TBR um, on one of those, I just feel like... I don't know. I just feel like, at the moment, uh, this one is larger, so, like, I can include more books there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the second shelf just yet. I'm thinking of organizing my books by genres. Um, this is what I like to do. I know, like, the trend is, like, um, what do you call them? Oh, um, rainbow shelves. But personally, I don't really like it. I love the look of it, but like when you're looking for a book, I feel like, I don't know. To me, it feels like kind of pointless, but it's really pretty. But like, I feel like I need to be organized in a way that I can find my books. And like when a series, for example, if you have to separate them, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me, but like, it looks pretty. Like, I respect you however you organize your shelves. So I'm thinking of doing it by genre. I have fantasy. Um, I'm thinking like YA contemporaries, maybe romance. Um, I could do like a favorite books, like a shelf with all of my favorite books if I have enough shelf space. And, um, like I want to do a miscellaneous because uh, I have like a few classics, um, like some French books, stuff that I know like doesn't necessarily belong on like my bookcase here that I'm thinking maybe of putting there. But if I don't have enough, I might put it there. So yeah, we're going to start with the TBR because like I said before, this is what I know is going to be on there. And um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but like I already know the books that I haven't read. So I was just going to put that um, on my TBR shelf and we'll see for the rest, I guess. So my TBR shelf is done. This is what it looks like. So on this side we have mostly like um, contemporary. So whether it is like um, YA contemporary or like romance or like classics. This is like my contemporary shelf. Here we have my library books. I feel like I'm missing one. I will have to look on the bed to see where it is. And here on this side we have all of the fantasy novels that I want to read. Most of it is YA, but we have adult right there. So, as for my next shelves, I think I'm going to start by organizing like this big mess. Which is not focusing, yeah. Okay, this big mess into like different piles because right now like it's a freaking mess trying to find everything. Like just putting together my TBR shelf, I had to like move stuff around and it just, it wasn't really great. So I'm going to organize this mess and then we'll put, the, uh, we'll put this all back on different shelves and see what we're working with.
Okay, so here is the aftermath of me organizing my books. Basically, I put some series together. Um, sometimes I did some genres when they were standalones. Or like, here we have like a retelling pile. Or Walt well, Disney inspired retellings mostly. So, this is what we're working with at the moment. I also noticed that I was missing a few like, um, books that I hadn't read, like these three. So I added it to my TBR and kind of changes the look of it, but that just means that I have to read more books. <laughs> so right now I'm going to start putting the books back on the shelves. As I said before, I'm not sure how I'm going to be doing this. I think for now we're going to work on like genres, like, um, so like the, mostly like fantasy and, um, Contemporaries. I'm also going to have like a miscellaneous, miscellaneous, I'm never sure how to pronounce this, but uh, like a miscellaneous um, shelf where I put like books, like my French books and um, my French versions of Harry Potter and like un uh, incomplete series and then we'll see what we're left with. So let's do this. I don't usually go out this late at night. The place where the animals go But baby, I'm here and I'm watching you move There's just one thing you should know Girl, you are my fire Okay, so, so far we have two shelves. So first off we have my fantasy shelf. There's a little bit of space here because I know I'm going to have to put legendary there. Um, and I can definitely add some stuff. And then we have my contemporary shelf, which is pretty full. I do have like a little bit of space right there. So I might add something there. And then we have nothing at the bottom. And we have an empty shelf up here. And we still have that shelf over there. Um, that we can fill and these are all the books that I have left So um, I have like Percy Jackson and stuff. I do have like a bunch of retellings over there um, I have a middle grade so right now I think I'm gonna um, put up um, my miscellaneous shelf where I'm gonna put like some um, like um, nonfiction and uh, classics my Harry Potter French editions and things like that um, on the bottom shelf. I feel like since this shelf won't be like aesthetically pleasing, I know I should put it in the bottom on the bottom shelf. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll have two more shelves to work with. So we'll see what we can do. All right, so the miscellaneous shelf is done. It's kind of sparse, but basically I just put like incomplete series. I have a few classics and poetry there. My nonfiction are there. And then we have my French editions of Harry Potter, which my sister has like three or two of them. So yeah, um, right now I've decided that um, for the remaining shelf, so this one right here, I'm gonna put all of my like retellings slash, um, I don't know, like Disney themed and mythology books over there. So like my Percy Jackson um, and like Rick Ryan in general books are gonna go there. My Disney books are gonna go there as well. And on the remaining shelf that I have right here, I'm going to put all of my favorite books. My favorite books are over there uh, for most of them. And then here we have the retellings. There's only these two that I'm not sure where to put them, like Truly Devious and A Dreadful Tale. Um, they don't really fit anywhere <laughs> on these shelves, so I will have to figure this out. So now I'm going to set this shelf well, these two shelves, and I'll show you guys the final result. I'm done! Yeah! So, my shelves are a little bit sparse at the moment. It really did good because I felt like my shelves were overflowing, and, like, I felt guilty because I was buying new books, but, like, now that my shelves are a little bit more spaced out, um, I feel a lot better, and I don't feel guilty anymore about buying new books because I know I have the shelf space for it. But I'm gonna show you guys the final result. So, here are my two shelves. Whoops, let's focus please. Thank you. So we have my two shelves. So over here, like I said before, this is my TBR shelf. I added my little 
Captain America Funko Pop because I don't know, I thought it looked like it was protecting the shelf. I don't know. And here we have my favorite books. Um, this part is like my favorite books. Of course, I'm going to add new stuff. And there's stuff that like maybe should go there that is currently sitting in this shelf. But um, we'll keep it as is at the moment. And like maybe I'll reorganize a little bit um, later. And here we have uh, romance novels. And since I did enjoy all of these, especially the hating game, all time fave, um, I thought it was fitting to put it there. <laughs> And now let's go on to this bookshelf. So on top here we have my Harry Potter shelf that I showed you guys earlier. Then here is my retelling shelf. I also put Truly Devious and The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Reading there. I just didn't have any idea where to put um, these two, but um, we'll figure it out. Um, here we have uh, all of my Rick Riordan stuff at the moment and all of the Disney inspired slash fairy tale retellings. And here we have my fantasy shelf. Uh, there are a few books like an Ember and the Ashes series that I'm thinking of putting um, on my favorite shelf and maybe like Six of Crows and Cricket Kingdom, but we'll think about it. Here we have my contemporary shelf. This one is pretty full. I could still have like new books to add on tops. Uh, on top but overall I quite like it. Uh, the way I did with this is I organized it by series and authors. And finally we have, um, as I showed you guys earlier, my miscellaneous shelf with series that I do want to complete but I just don't have completed at the moment. And like my nonfiction, poetry, classics. I do want to fill this a little bit more, especially when it comes to poetry and classic. I feel like I should read more of these. But yeah, these are my shelf. If you guys would like to see a full like bookshelf tour, uh, today you got like part of it, but if you would like to see a bookshelf tour at some point, make sure to let me know in the comments below. That was it for today's vlog. Um, Before we sign off though, I am going to eat my chocolate because chocolate of the day, bitches. Advent calendar time. So where is day five? I need to find this. Doop, 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 boop, boop. Ooh, no. Oh yeah, here it is. This one right here. Oh, it's a mini teddy. I like it. It's super cute. Let's taste this. I know it's good. I've had this before in another advent calendar last year. Mm. So good. <laughs> on this note we're just gonna sign off the vlog here so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to leave a comment below be subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i guess that's it and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye